Okay, here is how the rotisserie works to stay in place. Uh, if you take a look here, it actually makes perfect sense why you're having problems because the best place for this to rest is between the corner of the handle and this metal backstop. That keeps it from being able to be pulled out on the other side, but like you mentioned, it also keeps you from being able to lock it in place. What we've done, uh, and you again have to be very careful because there's nothing to keep it from coming out over there, but I believe that this square piece is meant to help you rotate it um, 90 degrees at a time, uh, a quarter turn, in order to keep it in place. So you, you pick up this whole lever and you obviously want to use um, a, a glove or a rag of some kind so you don't burn your hand. But you put this whole thing in right here and the square fits down in there and it locks it in place. So then, uh, you know, we set it so every 10 minutes we, we give it a quarter turn clockwise. Um, and so I'll take a rag or two and pick it up, turn it 90 degrees and lay it back down. And then it actually locks into place. So this is how the rotisserie works. Again, if you pull too hard, it will fall, fall out on the other side, which is going to be a problem for you. Um, but unless, unless you want to hook up a, an electric device or rig up your own uh, way of doing this, that seems to be the best way that works for us, which is this uh, square right here. Again, don't know if the Chinese manufacturers intended it for that use. I would assume so. Uh, be careful doing this, um, but it does seem to work pretty well.